This is the energy we want for 2023. Confident girl bosses. I was so shocked. I feel like this weather is giving birth to me. Hello boys and girls and my sexy penguins. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Karina and we have a lot of fun here in my channel. So if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you can join in on the fun. Today's video is going to be a Zara try on haul. It has been so so long since I've done a Zara haul. I typically avoid shopping on Zara because they make it so abstract and artistic that it gets really hard to visualize the pieces on myself. So today we got a couple of pieces right here. So today I'm going to be trying them on for the first time, giving you guys my first impressions of these pieces and also tips on how to style these. So these are from the new Zara Spring 2023 collection, which I am so excited for okay guys so first up we are going to be trying on this pair of flare jeans i have seen flare pants blow up all over my social media and also on the runways too for spring summer 2023 it's a high rise which for those of you who don't know i am a giant fan of i think high rise makes your proportions look so much better than mid rise or low rise jeans despite it being not so much in trend right now i'm someone who fully believes that you should wear whatever you feel the most comfortable the most confident the most sexy in wear what makes you happy okay this this is really tiny though. I don't know how much the stretch is going to be. The model made it look like this, so we're gonna put it to the test and see what it looks like on me. These are the confidence you need this spring. Look at how amazing and look at how long my legs are. I am 5'7. I'm gonna put all my measurements up here so you guys can reference, but this only comes in one length. It's a little bit long, even for me. These are a pair of sock boots that I've mentioned in my previous videos, but I will be linking them down. Down below along with everything in this video so if you're on mobile how you can access the links is you click on more and then more one more time I think if you are a little bit concerned that you need to wear heels with this I'm also going to be pairing it with a pair of runners so you guys can see what it looks like to complete this particular outfit I'm going for more of a girl boss vibe <sighs> it's so hard to talk and suck in at the same time oversized blazer with shoulder pads so it gives your shoulders a little bit of a boost i think this is so girl boss you guys i'm sorry for yelling but i love you you guys all know that when i yell it's when i'm truly excited for you right to complete the look i'm gonna be putting on a hat okay so for accessories we're gonna go with my bag that is a studded bag and also your shades that matches our hat and our blazer okay girls ain't no one be messing with you in this fit okay this is the energy we want for 2023 confident girl bosses okay so this is how the jeans look like with flats i'm just wearing my converse high top platforms really inspired glasses so this is casual this is chic this is something that you can totally throw on without overthinking run to your classes run in between your classes run to the coffee store run into your crush run to the wall whatever running you have going on this will be your outfit and in terms of bag i suggest to go with something really casual like a simple cloth tote bag for people asking about my lips these are what i'm wearing i'll be linking them down below and next up we got a semi see-through blouse this has really gorgeous collars like this with a little lace trim which is also one of a giant 2023 trend also leave me a comment down below letting me know if you would like me to do a 2023 trend prediction video instead of regular buttons these are little girl clusters i think they're so dainty they're so pretty and then you have this ribbon tie detail which you can untie or tie into a ribbon it does seem kind of see-through though got this in a size extra small and the model made it look so high fashion so we're gonna put it on together with those jeans and see what it looks like first impression is that why are the sleeves so damn short is this me is it supposed to be like this this one just stops abruptly here so i think there's still room for it to be a sleeve longer so i have on my nude bra on the bottom and i don't think it's that see-through but let's see how it looks like with the tide 
much better once it's tucked in at the front here. Can you guys tell the difference? You can totally see the flow of the fabric. Very work appropriate, very good girl looking. I would give this maybe like a seven out of 10. In case you guys want to get this, be sure to size up. Do I look like a tomato today? I feel like my new foundation is way too pink for me. Okay, up next we have a blazer and a tweed skirt set, but they are sold separately, so you can get just the blazer or you can get just the skirt. I got it together because the model made it look so good, and I thought this can be such a staple spring piece, especially for like the more formal occasions where you want to look more put together and you look like you got your shit figured out. Oh, also the models also. <laughs> Also, the model's also, she's also, also, also. The model's also wearing a blue shirt on the bottom, so we're going to emulate that. Okay guys, so this is what the trio looks like on me. I added my own heels. Let's put the model picture here, and let's have a poll going. Who wore it better? I think me, from my totally 100% unbiased opinion. I think the model did an amazing job putting together this outfit with the blue on the bottom. And on top of that, you have this tweed blazer, which adds that additional layer of texture to your entire outfit. This blazer, you really, really, really need to size up. I had such a hard time putting it on over this blue shirt. You guys have no idea. And it feels like really tight around my shoulders and around my chest area. So you really do need to size up. Also, if I pull down the sleeves of the blazer, you guys can totally see that it is still on the very short side. Onto these skirts, if you lift them, you can actually see that the sides here are stitched together so there's no way the wind can actually just pick it up and the back just looks like a regular short because this is way too big like look at this size up for the blazer size down for the skirt side zipper the blue shirt i wore as a base layer but you can totally wear it as even an overshirt for spring and summertime where you have like a tank top underneath i'm not that impressed by the overall fit and feel of this shirt it is a rather rigid type of fabric i have have to have a talk with whoever designed this new spring set for Zara. Okay, like what are you thinking in terms of the sleeves? I don't know why all their sleeves are so short. Definitely go up one or even two sizes for this look. Good thing is that it is not see-through, so you guys have no idea how excited I am for this khaki blazer. I got this in a size of medium because I wanted it to be extra oversized. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I am a big giant huge fan of blazers, especially oversized blazers, oversized, 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 oversized black blazer on top of it. Are you guys sick of me saying oversized? I think they are so amazing, so chic. It's the outerwear to go for, especially in spring and fall and you know, sometimes in the summer. I don't have a problem. I have a collection. Okay, spoiler alert. I actually put this on in this reel right here. So I just layered it on top of a reel preppy outfit. So that's one way you can style this blazer, but otherwise we're going to be styling this another way so you guys can compare and contrast and see which style you like more. Because I got a size medium, this blazer fits a little bit on the oversized side for me, which I absolutely j'adore. So we just went with the same pair of jeans as the very first look, and this time I rolled up the cuffs a little bit. Absolutely love the olive undertone in this blazer. I think it's something that can be dressed up or down. If you're going to be wearing this outfit outside, you will be approached people will be asking you where you got your entire fit so if you don't want people to talk to you you guys know what to do oh i love this look so much i can cry oh by the way this also comes with shoulder pads you know not too prominent but just enough i feel like everyone should grab this blazer everyone if you're watching this right now and it's still in stock click the link below grab it right away i know it's gonna sell out when spring comes i just know it and knowing zara they often don't bring back their stuff very fast so if it's sold out it's gonna be sold out for a long time you don't want to be sleeping on this blazer guys okay you guys what did i tell you about being in my Haley era this is such a Haley inspired moto jacket so i think moto jackets has always been so one of a closet staple depending on you know the style that you tend to go for especially 2023 spring i'm going to be predicting lots of moto core vibes which has already been worn by celebrities like bella and jenny and of course my girl Haley. i can think of so many different outfits that would look amazeballs with this jacket smash that like button if you like Haley outfits or if you like Haley, or if you like me or if you would like me to do a Haley inspired outfit video we have another 
escort moment going on. Love how Zara has completely embraced the whole escort motion and not just come up with mini skirts. It's like they watch my channel or something and know my obsession with skirts. So this is a faux leather skirt. It is a slip on the front and then the back, it's a complete shorts. I think this will be such a great basic, especially during the springtime. Here with all your oversized blazers, ladies and gentlemen. Also a very Haley moment. Oh my god, you guys, I swear 2023 is going to be my Haley era. I'm in such a Haley mood these days. Hence have these sweater and this hairstyle. Okay, so this is what the jacket looks like along with these faux leather skirts, which gave me like a shock of my life. You guys saw my face. I was so shocked that I thought it was fleece interior. Turns out it's actually kind of like a felty type of interior. This slit here is always going to form a perfect slit. Right at my arena of what Haley would wear this spring, it's called Sexy Grunge, which I think is going to make a giant splash of a comeback. I'm just layering on a simple white tank top with a long white shirt in the mid layer. Okay, so one downside is that the belt is not hooked on. So you really need to make sure that it's staying in place like this. I really wanted to show you guys this new trick that I think could really work. If you guys end up buying this skirt, one cool trick is you can wear it front and back. Oh my god! short if you wear it front towards back you're literally getting two skews for one purchase oh my god i'm all over the place i'm just really excited okay so let me show you another example if you wear something like a oversized blazer does it cover it yes it does okay problem solved you are very welcome that's why you watch my hauls right Anyway, what did I say about this blazer, you guys? Have you not paused this video and bought this blazer yet? I got this in a size extra small, which is supposed to be a 24 waist, but do you guys see? I don't think it's a huge deal considering, you know, we all need to move around and sit down and get up and like eat and breathe. So that extra inch around the waist really doesn't make a difference to me. But in case you really, really want that snatched fit, try going down the size. So I'm not usually someone who tends to gravitate towards a lot of darker palettes, especially for spring, but this little top caught my eye. I think it's so beautiful. I think this would be perfect for work. This is a chiffon top. The collar here has ruffle designs. The bottom here is just a free flow kind of thing, but it does come in two layers and it's semi see-through. We'll be trying it on top of our bra directly so you guys can see just how see-through it is. Okay guys, this top, I just paired it with this beautiful satin skirt to give it a little bit more flow, a little bit more color, a little bit more movement. If you want, you can also tie in this look with a skinny belt to further accentuate your shape. I'm wearing one of those chicken breast <laughs> bras. It's not see-through at all. I'm gonna switch my bottom into these Aritzia pants and then we're gonna see what it looks like. <gasps> I mean, who needs a boyfriend when your outfit is cooler than any dude? This top has girl boss energy written all over it. Whoever wears this will be a girl boss in confidence and attitude. I can't with it. Oh my God, I think it's going to be my perfect spring slash summer piece. Get this top right this second. So let me know in the comments down below which look you prefer more with the satin skirt or with these Pants. I myself prefer pants more even though I'm more of a skirt girl. My brain is wanting to go for these like girl boss looks more and more and more and more. So I'm gonna go with this one. Oh. A white turtleneck. This is something that is from their basic collection and I just wanted to test out their basics because I haven't in a super long time. I've heard a lot of people say that their quality has really gone downhill. I mean, just looking at this and feeling it in my hand, it does feel pretty good, pretty sturdy. Oh, there are some snacks. Can you guys see over here? <gasps> I'm gonna get makeup all over this as I try it on. <laughs> I can't even put this on. You know what guys, due to technical difficulties, I am unable to squeeze my giant head into the turtleneck. Maybe size up. 
Oh okay, guys, after over stretching this neck area, I finally managed to put my head through it. I just think I got a size too small, maybe. I got an extra small in this. In terms of the see-throughness, I am wearing a gray bra on the inside. I mean, you can see the tags peeking through from here too. I would maybe go back and grab this in another color, like a black or a darker color to prevent the sheerness. Also, definitely size up. Just don't put yourself through this torture. This is a pair of straight leg khaki pants. I'm pretty impressed just feeling it with my hands right now. It feels really thick. So it's not lined on the inside. You guys see there's like seams and stuff that you can totally tell. And here is what the inside looks like. You have your pockets over here, but it's completely in line from the waist down to the heels. But the model does make her look like a billion bucks despite it being only $45. So let's put this to the test. Not bad. I love how flowy the fabric is. It is very long. So again, I'm 5'7", and this is already up to my belly button as a very high rise waist. So let's throw on some booties with a heel. In case you guys haven't noticed, these booties are my recent go-tos. They're such a favorite and goes with all of my closet items so beautiful. It has a really sharp toe and a western kind of like cowboy boot design, but an ankle cowboy boot. This is currently sold out, I think, but I have found a super similar pair for half the price. So I will be popping the link down below. A lot better lengthwise after we put on our heels. I think it is very work appropriate. The color too is like a green kind of gray color. I did not need to steam any wrinkles out of this. So I think this fabric is one of the few fabrics that keeps the pant from being wrinkly all the time, which is super important if you're gonna be sitting down and standing up and moving about a lot. So the back has these pockets, which I'm not sure if they actually actually are pockets. I'm gonna have to need to take a pair of scissors to test it out. So far I am loving this. What do you guys think? Or maybe it's just a top that goes with everything and makes everything pop. This is a wool blazer slash coat. I guess it depends on how petite you are, whether you want to call this a blazer or a coat. I personally think it's somewhere in the middle. I'll be calling it a bloat. Blay coat? This has 50% wool on the exterior, so it's a slightly thicker type of material. You guys see all the texture that's going on. It has two rows of buttons down the side, so it is a double-breasted kind of blazer. Completely lined on the inside. I imagine this would be really warm for spring. It's also something that's very versatile. I can see people wearing it as outerwear or as a middle layer inside office settings or any kind of formal settings. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why I said wow. Okay, I think it's because the sleeves are also a little bit short. Is it just me? Like, did my arm just grow overnight? How come all the new stuff from Zara are so short sleeve? First of all, it's really noisy when you move. It has like an ASMR thing going on whenever you're moving around like this. I still like the fit of it. I like how it goes in around the waist and the flares out after. But I just can't with the sleeves, you guys. I might go back and get this one size up. So this is an extra small, I believe. So I might get it in the small. But I don't know, it's not doing anything for me right now. What do you guys think? Do you think I should keep this or return this for one size up? Comment down below. Speaking of preppy, I got myself a little pleated skirt. So this mini pleated skirt is actually supposed to be a mid-rise or a low-rise skirt, which... Okay, I guess I'll give in to the mid-rise, low-rise trend. Okay, you guys need to sit down for this. It's not a skirt, it's a skirt! Just peek inside. Yeah! Okay, I love it when there are skirts on the bottom or shorts or built-in shorts. So, you know, per proof for ladies. This is not one of those like super thin inner lining skirts that you get from some of the skirts out there. This actually is the same color, the same fabric, and the skirt itself is also lined. So I'm very impressed. And it also comes in three different colors. There's a beige and a khaki, I believe. <gasps> How cute if I got the skirt and a khaki to pair with this blazer. Why did I not do that? Okay, I'm screaming at my past self right now. If this actually looks good on me, I'm going back right now and grabbing the skirt in this color. It's cute, 
it's trendy, it's low-waisted, this is an extra small, and it sits way below my belly button. I have really mixed feelings about this one. I think this can look super cute if you put on like a oversized <laughs> anything basically but then that kind of defeats the purpose of it being a low rise so if you are one of those people that you love your low rises because you love to show off your belly button give me some of your confidence because I myself am not quite there yet which is why you guys rarely see me wearing anything low-waisted yeah it's a huge insecurity of mine after having two kids I just don't feel particularly sexy okay so I found a graphic sweatshirt okay I feel like I can finally breathe I feel like my tummy can finally breathe so I don't have to be sucking in all the time you know subconsciously and in terms of styling the skirt we're gonna go for the ballet core leg warmer plus loafers if you have platform Uggs I guess that would work too if you guys have the airpods max or any sort of like headphones or even black headphones will look amazing with this outfit okay you guys thank you so much for staying until the end of this try on haul I hope you guys saw a couple of outfits or pieces that you liked and might add to your spring collection 2023 don't forget everything is linked in the description box down below along with the sizes and the prices and let me know what video you want to see next can be a styling video can be a haul video can be a talking video can be a lookbook spring lookbook anyone now that we're in February you know I love y'all and have a great day or week or month or year I feel like this weather is giving birth to me. <laughs>